Welcome to Coral Bay in the northwest of Western Australia. My sister Jack and I drove here in one day from Perth. It wasn't without a couple of hiccups, but we had to make it here in time to swim with the whale sharks on the Ninglu Reef. It's quarter past six in the morning here in Perth. The car is packed, we're ready to go. Yet. The tire just blew while we were on the highway. There was all bits of black coming off the back of it, but the car started wobbling side to side, but Jackie was in control. Thankfully, saved our lives and we're okay. And she knows how to change a tire. Is that part of my car? I think it might be part of the car. It was just That's on the funny. side of the road, far out Brussels sprout. I think I'm a sick driver. Double sense was kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> to the rescue. Now it's my turn to take over the driving. I don't actually have a manual driver's license. Wish me luck. Should I put it into first gear first? Gently. I didn't bunny hop. No. You dumber. 17 hours. Oh, there's a pub open. Too close for this early in the morning. I will hold that out a bit. Today's the day we're going swimming with the whale sharks. So it's 6:30 in the morning right now. We had to sleep in a random car park because we arrived so late. So we've just pulled up at the beach here just to use the bathroom. So this is not a joke. I just went to the office to check in, and there's uh, mechanical problems with the boat. So we have to do it tomorrow. <laughs> They're going to push us through to tomorrow, hopefully. What? Coral Bay was the perfect place to have a bonus couple of days. It's a tiny holiday town, only 200 people actually live here and there's only a few places to stay. We've just decided to go for a little coast walk to the furthest point of Coral Bay. It just feels so serene out here, it's so quiet, there's barely even a breeze and the water is super still. The only visitors are these biting flies. The real star of this place is the Ningaloo Reef. Coral Bay Eco Tours took us out on the water in search of whale sharks and it turns out the biggest fish in the ocean are not always so easy to find. The staff was so passionate about the ocean and educated us about all the other marine life we saw along the way. As sun set on an epic day we went straight to the beach and had a little boogie. I'm talking about plastic. And a storm rolled in. I don't know if you can hear just how windy it is. This whole tent is shaking. I think that this here was my saving grace, so I tied it up. And that just stopped the tent from blowing away. We tried to escape the weather and headed to Exmouth, a bigger coastal town further north. We've just found out that over the next couple of days, the diving and snorkeling weather isn't ideal. Also, all the campsites are booked out. What do you think? Well, maybe put two hours of We made the most of it anyway. This is Pebble Beach, just south of Exmouth. Now, it gets its name because it's literally all pebbles. We got into a campsite in town, and the next morning, we hiked up Mandu Mandu Gorge. I spotted a rock wallaby and at the top you could see where the desert meets the sea. This is the way to my heart by bringing you vegan food. Thank you very much. This is the way to, to your heart. <laughs> yes, it's the best place I've eaten on this trip. Coming towards me. Oh my god, this is so pretty. The road trip back south was even more eventful if you would believe it. Pulled over as we have a slight obstacle. Very quick. Feeling good, Jack? to pull in and sleep in the car. The roads are still quite wet, so we don't want to risk driving in the dark out where we can't really see what's going on. Luckily, the final stretch was smooth sailing with rainbows all the way home. For more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Roxanne Taylor Media, and find me on Instagram to keep in touch, and I'll see you again soon.